the whole point is to show that we can coexist with nature in balance. We can do it. There is a proof of it. Hi everyone, it's Canary Green here and uh, Mercedes, explain us a little bit more why whale wise is the sustainable choice for whale watching. We have looked in every single detail to make it sustainable. We do sustainable and responsible and I explain to you, sustainable for us means to take into account any impact that we could have on our activity locally and on the planet. And responsible because we try to eliminate every impact that we create, but we also delegate in the ones that we cannot. For example, we have created our own hybrid self-sufficient boat. We put two main normal engines and two electric engines. We cannot go fully in an electric. We have to go with the normal engines as well. They are the lowest CO2 we could find, but still we're creating CO2. Okay, so we said, let's be responsible for that. So we have joined carbon neutral programs to put plant trees and put clean oxygen in the in their planet for the CO2 we create. It's really a 360 approach that many more companies, I think, need to take. And Mercedes, it's actually thanks to you that this whole site here has become Europe's first whale heritage site. Tell us a little bit more about yeah. that. Yeah, the whale heritage site is Marine Area Tenerife Lagomera, so we include the Lagomera as well. It's a beautiful initiative to recognize places that is, it, it's not a certification that you get and that's it. It's actually to work. It's, uh, every year it's evaluated and then you have to prove that you're doing the right thing. And the beautiful part is that it unites everyone. There is so many beautiful people, beautiful projects going on and this is an opportunity to join them together and work together in the same direction. I'm so happy you're getting recognition for all of your hard work and everything Thank you're doing. You. And back to, to whale watching, there are actually a lot of rules. Can you tell us about them? The code of conduct is well defined, basically it's, it's logic, but it's written, right? So 500 meters around the whales is protected. You have to approach them kind of trying to parallel, a slow speed, never cross on the back or the front. If they're only babies, which have, sometimes happens with the pilot whales, just maybe leave them alone. It's about also the whales knowing what you're doing. Tell us, what is the tour like with whale wise? You come on this boat, it's only for 10 people max, so it's kind of like very friendly environment. And then, well, basically we go see the resident uh, cetaceans, we go further out than any other good company because we want to see anything that is in the area. And on the way, I of course explain the code of conduct, the importance of uh, responsible activity. And I just drop in a lot of scientific information, but in a really friendly way. So it's not boring, but I, you know, you, you go well educated about uh, whale and dolphin biology, conservation, and it's all um, good fun. We make it fun. We don't offer swimming, but if you book a private tour and then you want to go see the whales and then you want to go swimming, then we do it with yeah. private tours. Thank you so much for this conversation, Mercedes, and everything you're doing. And, you know, this is such an amazing trip and let's go for a swim.